now we come to to find out the electric field due to a solid sphere which is which is uniformly charged okay now what happens is we have a solid sphere which has a charge q spread all over the volume right unlike the spherical shell it is all spread over the volume so a charge q spread over the volume of the of the sphere of radius r capital r okay now how about finding out about finding out the field at a point r which is greater than than capital r okay so see we can assume that this solid sphere is made up of so many spherical shells of increasing radius okay and all the spherical shells if you are considering a field outside them then what what happens then they behave as if the whole of the charge is concentrated at the center of the sphere right so what happens so maybe for for this thin shell this thin shell it behaves as if all the charge is at the center and due to that some field is being created at a point outside it okay so so if this has say a charge q1 over it and the second one has a charge has a charge q2 over it then what happens it is so so this q1 will be it will behave as if the the outermost shell will behave as if there is a charge q1 at the center the smaller one will behave as if there is charge q2 and then q3 and sum of all so what happens this 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 solid sphere behaves as if the solid sphere behaves as if all the charge is concentrated at the all the charge is concentrated at the center and it is due to this charge that the field is being created that the field is being created at okay it's being created at p fine so what happens the field e is given by e is being given by e will be given by 4 pi epsilon not 
not r square right so all the charge got concentrated at the center and it is due to that charge that point charge that we are experiencing a field at point p fine now we come to the second case of it second case is when r is less than r so what happens okay so so i can see that this is small r this is capital r right this whole length is capital r this if i am within this then all the shells which are which are within this they'll be they'll be creating a field here as if all the charge is concentrated here why because this point is external to to all the shells which have radius smaller than r right while while what happens the these the external shells they will not be able to produce any field at point p do we get that okay so all the spherical shells shells with radius less than r i'll say for all the spherical shells with radius less than r radius hmm, less than r the point p is the point p is external to the shell no with less no with less than small r no fine but but for all the shells which are say say like this this point is external no for for p p is p is the point p is external the point p is external to the shell okay for for all the shells for all the spherical shells with radius greater than r greater than r what happens greater than r the point p is internal to the spherical shell and all those shells won't contribute anything to the field right they won't con uh, they won't contribute anything to the field while the inner ones do contribute right the inner ones they contribute that means the field at point p is due to all the charge that is enclosed within the within the 
विद इन द स्फियर ऑफ रेडियस आर एंड एज इफ दैट दैट ऑल द चार्ज इज कंसेंट्रेटेड एट इट्स सेंटर राइट दस द फील्ड दस द फील्ड एट पॉइंट पी इज ड्यू टू द चार्ज कंटेन्ड विद इन दस अ फील एट पॉइंट पी इज ड्यू टू द चार्ज कंटेन्ड विद इन द स्फियर ऑफ रेडियस आर and this charge acts as if it was concentrated at the center of the sphere as if it was concentrated at the center of the sphere and rather for creating the the field at p right so so let us try to do that let us try to find out the charge contained in a sphere of radius small r okay now 4 upon 3 pi r cube volume right contains charge capital q correct so this volume contains charge how about a sphere of radius small r it will have a volume of 4 upon 3 pi r cube this volume contains this 3 pi r cube into 4 upon 3 pi r cube so this and this and this so it becomes q is equal to capital q into small r cube upon capital r cube so that is the charge which is contained within this okay and so so now i say that this amount of small q charge resides here and this point charge is creating a field at p which is at a distance small r from the from the center of the sphere so so therefore field at p is equal to q upon 4 pi epsilon not r square so that becomes q upon 4 pi epsilon not r square into r cube upon r cube now that is equal to q upon 4 pi epsilon not r cube into into r into r right now if someone asks me to map it hmm let me map the field then how do i go about it see this is the sphere right okay so from here till here as you increase r what happens your field goes up is it not 
if 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 this is your this is hold on hold on this is capital q hmm what do we increase yes small r goes up this is a constant so what happens this is like like what y is equal to mx kind of thing so this has to be a straight line this has to be a straight line passing through the origin and it goes like that and beyond it it falls off like this right falls off at as r square so this is the point r till which the field goes up increases and then it falls off so so this is for this is for r less than r and this is for this is for on in a sense this is the sphere right but but this is the positive thing you cannot become negative right so maybe the field goes like that but r cannot be negative so i am concentrating myself here this tells you that that within the field keeps on increasing as you go go out and why should it increase why should it increase as you go out your distance increases so the field falls off as 1 by r square but charge increases as r cube that's why the whole thing is increasing as r when you go go out of this the charge does not change at all the charge remains a constant outside only the distance and the distance changes so so it behaves as it would have behaved for a point charge now incidentally if you try to compare it 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 resembles the law of shells of gravitation what does the law of shell of gravitation tell you what does it tell you can you tell me it tells you that if there is a thin spherical shell then for all points outside outside it okay this shell behaves as if the its mass if it is of mass m it behaves as if the mass m is concentrated at the center and it attracts this body from there and then it says that for any body which is located inside the gravitational force is zero so in a sense this law of shell also also tells you that that if you go outside it seems as if the charges are it's it seems as if the charges are concentrated at the center okay and from there they are attracting or repelling whatever or, or creating the field while when you come in the electric field is zero yes you were asking something zero when it is hollow hmm shell that's why i said no law of shells not of spheres understand they are an exact copy of each other the law of shells of the gravitation and the law of shell here they are the same fine we understand hmm okay